originally from Argentina, and he's been here in the U.S. for the past nine years. He works in a metal recycling company uh, in the environmental compliance field. He's married, and he has two boys, and he's been with our club for just about six months. And though he lives in Argentina, he's really not coming from that distance. He's it's, it's actually coming just from across the street. <laughs> the Please welcome Sergio Master. Good evening, those uh, master, master, um, those masters, uh, honorable guests. Global warming is here. I'm going to take a few minutes just to introduce you a situation that is worrying many people around the, glo the globe. And I had a really strong experience this past week working in a site where we have a lot, many, many sources of pollution and we feel very responsible uh, on what was happening in there. Uh, part of our company was neglecting take care of that stuff and uh, we were cited by many agencies, and we reflect not just in the things that we have to do, but also how important is you as a U.S. citizen living in this beautiful country and being an also sharing this beautiful world, taking part on of this caring about our planet. Global warming is here. What we can do about it? Let me share with you first which are some sources of our um, global warming. First thing I want to mention is air pollution. When you're driving for the freeways, you saw beautiful trucks, huge trucks, coming, passing around us, and sometimes honking. <laughs> but also when they just step on the throttle, you can see a huge, a humongous uh, source of pollution in there, coming out from the uh, engine of that machines. We also saw the same situation with all trucks but with some cars. I used to have a motorcycle that had a lot of troubles with the engine, and every time I started, it had white smoke coming from the exhaust pipe. I don't, I don't know that anymore. But fuel burning is the first cause also about um, air pollution. Another situation that we probably can take care and we are more responsible for that, is the use of refrigerant gases. The gas that is uh, making run in your refrigerator or your air conditioner unit are <coughs> filled with uh, different type of gases. Could be R22, R12, or R134A. Every one of those gases are rated with a, a value that is called ozone uh, depletion potential. And it's rated from one to zero. The most dangerous for the atmosphere is R12. All cars, all refrigerators uh, used to be filled with the, those type of refrigerant gases. Now it's replaced for the 134A that is not that harmful from the for the atmosphere, but it's still being considered like um, greenhouse gas. In a couple of minutes, I'm gonna explain to you what that means. Basically, when you recycle your refrigerator, it's coming to one of our facilities, and we have people, trained people, that are gonna take that refrigerator and gonna pump out all the gas, and they're gonna storage the gas, 
and recycle the gas properly so we don't gonna harm the atmosphere. As I mentioned, one of the sources are air pollution, another the sources uh, by the fuel burning, another source is the refrigerant gases. But what, what else are the sources of the global warming? Deforestation. Every single year, thousand and thousand of square acres are deforested from the rainforest in our tropical regions. And if you if you remember the lessons of the, our high school or when we were in college in the class of biology, you, we have to remember then that they are the uh, reason they, they they transforming the CO2 in oxygen. So basically let the planet breathe. When they are deforesting all the forest in the tropical rain, then we can expect several consequences in our planet. Which are what some of those consequences? Well, first of all, we have social consequences. Um, once the refrigerant gases are liberated to the atmosphere, advented to the atmosphere, the crops, for example, uh, stop uh, reproducing. We have the marine life that is getting to the end. But also the skin cancer is starting to be more often in people. We have also uh, economic situations. For example, <clears throat> when the gases are uh, vented to the atmosphere, some people is getting high bills to pay for their own health. And also the nation has to invest more and more money to take care of the sickness and the hospitals and everything. But also we have another uh, consequence that is physics. That is a global, global warming. Uh, in the meantime, the energy is trapped in the atmosphere, the temperature in the planet rises. And that means also the level of the ocean is start to rise too. Finally, what we can do? What we can do to avoid to don't be part of this thing, situation? First, watch your own emissions. Try to change your car or try to drive less miles in your car. Second, use recycled stuff. Recycle also. And let, lastly, be informed, participate, participate in the forums. If you are getting involved on in what is happening in our planet, you can say, global warming is here, but I want to do something about it. Thank you.